The Restrict Act is making headlines, upsetting people on both sides of the aisle, but the bill, which was introduced to Congress by a Democrat, apparently has a lot of bipartisan support. Included in that bipartisan cohort is Lindsey Graham, but that's news to Lindsey. Fox News host Jesse Waters questioned the senator about his support of the bill, to which Graham replied, I don't think I support the Restrict Act. Let's try to get some answers out of the Senator Lindsey Graham, who supports this and is here now. You got to be kidding me, Senator. Did you read this? Yeah, I don't think I support the Restrict Act. He later questioned what exactly the Restrict Act was after Waters clarified that Lindsey's name was listed as one of the supporting members of Congress. You don't support this because you were named as one of the supporters because this is garbage. Well, is this the one with John? There's two bills out there. One allows a review of businesses that that are connected to China, give the secretary the ability to protect our data. Uh, is that the Restrict Act? We got S-686 right here, yeah. March 7th. Mm -hmm. And we got a bunch of Republicans supporting it because this thing is crazy town. You don't want yeah. the government looking into your private phone. No, I don't. If and they, they have can't. a hunch you're colluding with the <laughs> Russians, we remember how yeah, that turned that's out. That's right. Yeah, no, well, the Constitution trumps a statute, so let me come back and, uh, you know, give you a better explanation. Over the remaining course of the interview, the senator said that he owed Waters a better answer than the one he gave and that he needed to sort out what he actually supported. From his rhetoric in the interview, he did not have great things to say about the bill that he co-sponsored. Waters gave him a bit of an out, suggesting that maybe this was one of those situations where the staffers are really running the show. And sure, sometimes that happens, but you'd think that Graham would have been at least briefed on the topic he was going on television to discuss. But to Senator Graham's question, what is the Restrict Act and why does it have so many people spooked? The Restricting the Emergence of Security Threats and Risk Information and Communications Technology Act, informally known as the Restrict Act, is linked to what we're seeing happening with TikTok right now. It's legislation that was proposed in the name of protecting American data from foreign adversaries. Currently, those adversaries are Cuba, Iran, North Korea, Russia, Venezuela, and of course, China. This would be done in the interest of limiting risk to national security, giving the Department of Commerce oversight over transactions involving foreign entities. That oversight basically means that the government can ban or force the sale of foreign software or equipment if it's got over 1 million American users and if it feels that the software or equipment is being used to spy on Americans. That means things like VPNs could be scrutinized and mobile apps. Here's the problem as I see it. Uh, China is the parent company of TikTok, and my nieces like TikTok. I don't mind them using TikTok. I just don't want the Chinese government to seize all their data and manipulate the information Americans seize uh, for political purposes. China is helping drug cartels in Mexico. China is not a friend. Chinese espionage is an all-time high against American business interests. So I want to push back against China, but within a constitutional framework. You're right about that. So, uh, you made these allegations, and I'll come answer better next time. Right, well, I mean, because on Congress.gov, you're listed as one of the co-sponsors of this thing. Maybe it's like Fetterman when your chief of staff <laughs> does be. all your work for Could you. Be. But, Senator, you got to go back and talk to these other senators about this. Yeah. This thing is nuts, and yeah. it's going to get abused like it always does. So we got to yeah. clean this up. Can we clean this up? TikTok currently has 150 million American users, and if you're familiar with the ongoing situation with TikTok versus the American government, Congress and the White House are currently attempting to force TikTok to sell to an American company on the grounds that the U.S. government cannot trust the Chinese government not to hoard American data and use it against us. We're under attack by China. Now, that's a fact. Chinese uh, Communist Party is stealing American data Espionage against American businesses is at all time high. According to the FBI, it's the number one challenge they face. China is providing drug uh, precursors to make fentanyl in Mexico that's killing Americans. So, 
Yeah, I'm definitely going to push back against China being able to steer your data, but I want to do it in a constitutionally sound manner. So the problem is real with China, but the solution can be more damaging than the problem is sort of what you're you telling know, me. You know, don't That's push what back you're telling me. on the United States citizens yeah, no, I, I for something what China's saying. doing. All right? no, I, to- I totally get that. And constitutionally, we can't do all the things you just said. So let me get back with you. But let me just yeah, get with back this. with me because you co-sponsored it two days ago. OK. Senator. All right. Yep. See, makes me look bad. I don't know a better explanation. All right. Uh, my bad. But I will say this about China. China is really a threat to America at multiple levels. The fentanyl coming in from Mexico, they have a direct link to that. It's coming out of China. I want to make Mexican drug cartels, foreign terrorist organizations. I want to protect uh, American data from Chinese manipulation by the Communist Party. Uh, That's my intent. And if this bill doesn't, if it goes beyond that, I'll come on your show and say uh, my bad. If we can't force the sale, the other option is to ban the app. But Trump already tried to do that, and he ran into some roadblocks. This Restrict Act would eliminate those roadblocks, but at a price. Americans are already somewhat concerned with their data and who has access to it. A lot of Americans, I think it's safe to say, aren't as concerned about it as others maybe think they should be. But that's another conversation. As a matter of national security, there have been instances where foreign governments have launched propaganda campaigns against the American people in attempts to, say, swing elections or manipulate public opinion in a certain way. However, there have also been incidents where our own government has mismanaged our personal and private data, so the premise that they're attempting to ban an app like TikTok explicitly because Americans can't trust the Chinese government only goes so far. The concern with the Restrict Act is that it gives too much authority and oversight to the American government, and that it's far too broad in scope, and that it could ultimately serve as a measure of censorship, effectively limiting our freedom of speech and our ability to communicate with others. The bill also states that individual users aren't being targeted for criminal penalties here unless they're engaging in, quote, sabotage or subversion of American communications technology products and services, creating catastrophic effects on U.S. critical infrastructure or interfering or altering the result of a federal election. So again, it all feels a little uncomfortably vague. And the fear now is that this would give our government unprecedented access to our mobile devices in the name of our own protection. But of course, that all speaks to the larger issues behind US v TikTok. If you watch the clip between Senator Graham and Jesse Waters, the rhetoric is casually anti-Chinese. Too casually, I'd say. It's one thing to distrust a foreign government, and it's one thing to not fully understand its people, their values, or their motives. But it's another thing to posture yourself as anti an entire nation, its government, and its people. What I didn't love about Senator Graham's statements was that he was painting a complex issue with a wide brush. And to be fair, he only had a few minutes on the show, so we can't exactly get caught up in details or nuance. However, he didn't make much of a distinction between the Chinese government and the Chinese people. And we as Americans know firsthand how unfair that is. We don't love it when Europeans, for instance, make assumptions about who we are and what we believe in based on the actions of our government. It's right and it's good to be protective of the home front. And it's right and it's good to be critical of potential adversaries. But we've been down similar roads before, when we've demonized an entire nation of people because our government needed to quickly rally public support against that nation for whatever reason or justification it gave us. These things are a slippery slope and we've been down this hill before. I just don't want to be eating whatever the Chinese equivalent of freedom fries is. All right, that's it for me. If you got anything out of this, please like and subscribe to the channel and be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Thank you.